in the previous video I had briefly mentioned about the various health benefits associated with good sleep in this video I will cover these health benefits in detail sleep is a vital body function that plays a significant role towards the health and well-being of a child sleep has both short-term and long-term benefits and is as important as nutrition therefore parents need to take the aspect of sleep seriously and the rest of this video will help you understand why sleep is critical for your child one of the key parameters that we observe during our routine examination with children is their growth and development although growth and development is critical during all stages of a child it is even more critical during the first two years as the child gains maximum in both weight and height during this stage. One of the most important hormones responsible for growth in children is called the growth hormone. This principal hormone is secreted from the pituitary gland in the brain. Growth hormone not only helps in increasing both height and weight but also helps muscle and bone development, regulates body composition and sugar and fat metabolism. Parents are often stunned when I tell them that sleep is responsible for the adequate secretion of the growth hormone. Studies now show that good sleep is a stimulus towards the release of growth hormone and children with poor sleep tend to secrete less amounts of growth hormone. Hence, sleep is not a passive process but an active one. A child is not only resting during sleep but is also growing. That is why children sleep longer than adults. An infant who requires the maximum growth sleeps for the longest duration. Although a child looks peaceful while sleeping, the child's brain actually remains busy all night. During this important period of sleep, a child's brain actively creates neuronal connections and consolidates everything learnt during the day. Additionally, the child's brain creates memory to store all the information. Therefore, good consolidated sleep enables enhanced learning and better retention of information. Research shows that even newborns learn in their sleep. Another important aspect related to sleep is attention. This particular aspect is the topic of a lot of latest research on sleep in children. This is primarily because of the rise in the cases of attention deficit and hyperactivity, a condition commonly known as ADHD. Children who consistently sleep less than 10 hours at night before the age of 3 years are 3 times more likely to become hyperactive and develop impulsivity problems by the age of 6 years. Unlike adults, sleep deprived children do not appear groggy and sleep excessively during the day, but tend to become hyperactive. Although sleep deprivation does not always lead to ADHD, there is enough evidence to suggest that sleep deprived children tend to be impulsive, distracted and hyperactive. Therefore, to conclude, parents should ensure that their child gets good consolidated sleep at night as sleep plays a crucial role in a child's learning, memory and attention. Research shows that sleep deprived children tend to put on excessive weight. So what is the scientific explanation for this phenomenon? The fat cells secrete a hormone called leptin after sufficient food intake. This hormone creates a feeling of fullness and signals the mind to stop eating further, thereby helps to keep the weight in control. There is enough evidence to suggest that sleep deprivation may impact secretion of this hormone leptin and cause children to eat excessively and gain weight. Over time, children who don't get good consolidated sleep are more likely to become obese. The relation between the lack of sleep and obesity was further substantiated by observing children who suffer from OSA 
or obstructed sleep apnea. OSA is a condition which causes significant sleep disturbance in children and difficulty in breathing at night. Children with OSA are found to gain weight very rapidly, disproportionate to the amount of food that they consume. An important and significant observation is that sometimes obesity in children can also lead to OSA, thereby resulting in sleep problems. This creates a dreadful cycle as OSA then further leads to rapid weight gain. Hence, parents should ensure that their children get good consolidated sleep to maintain age-appropriated weight and avoid problems associated with obesity. It may sound far-fetched when I tell you that good sleep can prevent certain diseases, but today's scientific research is beginning to support this. Experts are continuously studying on how sleep protects children from vascular damage, which happens due to release of stress hormones and cholesterol. Children with disturbed sleep patterns wake up multiple times at night. During these night awakenings and arousals, a number of stress hormones are released in the body, such as cortisol and adrenaline. Repeated release of these hormones can damage the blood vessels. Furthermore, chronic diseases such as hypertension and heart disease in adults can be traced back to the lack of adequate quality of sleep as children. Additionally, studies on children with sleep issues have shown that their blood glucose and cortisol levels remain elevated through the night. Both of these are linked to higher chances of diabetes, obesity, hypertension and even heart disease. That is not all. Sleep deprived children can be more prone to also infections too. During sleep, certain chemicals known as cytokines are produced. These are the chemicals on which the body relies on to fight infection, illness and stress. Sleep deprivation has shown to reduce the number of cytokines produced, hence making children more at risk of infections. The same applies to adults also. It has been found that adults who sleep less than 7 hours per night are three times more likely to develop a cold when exposed to a virus than adults who sleep almost 8 or more hours. It is significant to note that due to lack of scientific data, it is not possible to corroborate this accurately. However, it's important for parents to understand that good consolidated sleep can help prevent certain diseases and help build the immune system of their children. So to conclude, good sleep is an essential building block of a healthy child. Let me reiterate some of the important points mentioned in this video. There is enough scientific evidence to show that adequate quality sleep has both short-term and long-term health benefits. Sleep is an active process during which the child grows and develops. Sleep is an important trigger for the secretion of growth hormone from the pituitary gland in the brain. Growth hormone is the principal hormone responsible for multiple important aspects. Good sleep ensures that the brain works towards improving memory, learning and attention. Sleep deprived children tend to have poor attention skills and remain hyperactive during the day. Sleep helps to prevent obesity and obstructive sleep apnea in children. Chronic diseases in adults such as hypertension, diabetes and heart disease can be attributed to the lack of sleep in childhood. Sleep can additionally prevent infections and fight germs. I hope through this video I was able to convince you on why good sleep is critical for the health and well-being of your child and why you need to take this seriously. Parents need to ensure that their children gain the most out of something as simple as good sleep.